Scott, I don't want to spend too much time on Yamamoto because I want to wait to see where he signs. Obviously, it seems like it's going to be a good team. The Dodgers, the Yankees, the Mets are all in on him. The Red Sox, the Giants. There's a bunch of teams bidding for Yamamoto right now. But a 25-year-old Japanese phenom, likely to get somewhere between $200 and $300 million. He has posted an ERA under 1.7 three years in a row. And we're just not used to a starting pitcher that dominant coming over at this age, 25 years old. Yeah, so I don't know how much you want to get into it, but Eno Saris of The Athletic wrote an article recently uh, pointing out that uh, MLB teams have gotten much better at evaluating pitchers from Japan, from Korea, from overseas, uh, because of the data that's available now, where they, they can look at the individual pitching characteristics and have a better idea how it's going to translate. So misses in the past, like Daisuke Matsuzaka, are, are going to be um, fewer and farther between, is the hope. And you know, he did an analysis of each of Yamamoto's individual pitches, and it sounds like you know, it, it sounds like one of those, like, you know, if you, if you, what would be the perfect pitcher? You give him the splitter of Kevin Gosman, you give him the, uh, change up of, I, I can't even remember who the other comps were. It's like those it was, memes. It's those memes that are out there where it's the perfect arms and the, yeah, like, right. And, and that's basically what it sounds like Yamamoto is. And then of course he has the numbers to back it up and, um, he's only 25 years old. Like, you know, he's technically going to be a prospect this upcoming season. He's clearly the number one pitching prospect in baseball. Seems funny to call him that, but as I'm going through my po prospect rankings right now, that's top of mind. And, uh, yeah, I think he's worth, I think he's, you know, if I'm, I'm emphasizing upside, it's, it's hard to think of too many pitchers who have more than Yoshinobu Yamamoto. The only thing I want to add real quick is um, he had the, I think I mentioned this before, it's been said, you know, was the one that cited it, but fourth best stuff plus in the WBC uh, Yamamoto had. But also what I think is interesting is he's commonly been talked about um, also in like his unique, uh, just kind of like uh, physicality and um, some of the stuff that he does, his agility and he, also the way he's kind of changed the way he uh, pitches with like a high hold leg kick or some of the quick pitch stuff. All of this is to say he's been seen as like a coat. This is a cheap analogy, but like a Kodai Senga with command. And the reason that they do that is there are obviously similar arsenals in there because he also throws that fork ball. And just to throw this out here, Kodai Senga's number one pitch from a whiff persp uh, perspective, K percentage was his fork ball. It was the 29th highest K pitch in baseball like of any singular pitch by any single pitcher, it was top 30 best K percentage. Now throw on a pitcher that is perceivably a better command fork and then have better stuff plus on the fastball with better overall command. That's the reason that the excitement exists out there. There's still so much to be seen, but that's where people are coming from.